In this video, I'd like to show you how to put a basic formula or function into a spreadsheet inside of Microsoft Excel. And the example we're going to use is going to be finding the total for a series of values and the average for a series of values. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cell E4, and I always begin my formulas with an equal sign. And that lets Excel know that you're going to put a formula in as opposed to text or some numeric values. And then I'm going to go ahead and type the function name that I want to use. In this case, it's the sum function because I'm totaling. And then I do an opening parentheses. And now I need to put the cells in that I want to total. In this case, I want to total B4, C4, and D4. B4, C4, and D4 can be abbreviated B4 colon D4, or the first cell in the range colon and then the last cell in the range. I'll then close my parentheses and hit enter and you'll see I get the total for those values. I'll now click in cell F4 and there I want to put the average in. So here again I'm going to begin with an equal sign and the function name which in this case is average. I'll then go ahead and open my parentheses and again enter in the same cells I did before. Now earlier you saw me actually type in B4 colon D4 and you can always do that. However, if you prefer to use the mouse, after you type your opening parentheses, you can simply highlight the range of cells that you wish to um, include in the formula. Then I'll close my parentheses and hit enter, and you'll see I get the average for those values. Excel also has a tool called the AutoSum tool. I can use that very simply. Now I'm going to go ahead and click in cell B9, and again you'll see I want the total for January here. And then I'm going to go to the Home tab on my ribbon, and I'm going to come over here to Auto Sum. And when I click on Auto Sum, you're going to see that it automatically placed that formula into the cell that I had selected, and then chose the cells above it to total. When I hit Enter, you'll see the total for that month. You can also use that same quick tool with the average function. And here I am in the average cell, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Home. Instead of clicking Auto Sum, which would just give me a sum, I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down arrow to the right of that. And you'll see here we can use this tool with average, count, min, and max. And I want to use it with average, and there's also a more op functions option here. I'm going to go ahead and click average, and you're going to see that it highlighted the range B4 to B9 for me. Now earlier, because the data that I was totaling was directly above the function I was entering in, the range was entered in correctly. But here, I don't want B4 to B9, I don't want to include the total again in the average, I want B4 to B8. So what, leaving that highlighted, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the range of cells that I want, and you'll see it replaces it, and then hit enter, and we have the average now for that month. It's now easy to autofill these formulas down. I'm going to go ahead here and click on cell E4, and that cell contains the total. And you'll see here again, I'll double click on it and show you. Uh, equals sum B4 to D4, and we want to autofill that function down into the next four cells. So again, I'm going to click on that, and you're going to notice that there's a square box in the lower right-hand corner. If I point at that, my cursor will change. Right now I have this thick plus sign, and I can use this to highlight ranges of cells. If I point at that square, you're going to see that the thick plus sign changes into a skinny plus sign. The skinny plus sign will allow me to autofill instead of highlighting. So I'm going to go ahead and point at that and drag down, and you'll see that it filled that formula in for the next four cells. And again, we're going to go up here and double click on that cell, and you'll see the formula, the original formula was equal sum B4 to D4, or equal sum of the three cells to the left of that function. Now, when we actually copied that formula down into the lower cells by using the autofill option, 
it didn't actually copy the exact formula. It copied what that formula did. So when I double click on cell E5 here, you're going to say it says equal sum, open parentheses, exactly what it said before, but instead of B4 to D4, it updated the references to B5 to D5. It knew that I wanted to sum the three cells to the left of that formula. So again, Excel automatically updated those references for me. And you'll see if I click on cell E6, it now says equal sum B6 to D6. And that doesn't just work with the sum function. I'll click here on average, and you'll see the formula that was entered in there. And I can now use the autofill tool to fill that value down. And you'll see again, the references updated themselves. And to complete this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and click on cell B9 and just autofill over and B10 and autofill over. And that's all it is to putting in a simple formula and function inside of Microsoft Excel.